this is the problem number two here the problem state that so that e energy e must exceed the minimum value of the vx for every nominalizable solution to the time independent Schrodinger equation and what is the classical analog to this statement and here there is a hint which is given rewrite equation 2.5 in the form of that d2 psi by dx square is equal to 2m by h bar square vx minus e and psi and if e is less than v minimum then psi and its second derivative always have the same sign and the argue is that such a function cannot be normalized let's do the solution for this question so this is the problem number two and we know the uh, surrounding gel wave equation that is i h bar del psi by del t is equal to minus h is bar square by 2m and del to psi by del x square plus v x t and psi x t this equation can be solved by using the method of the separation of the variables and method of separation of variables by assuming that psi that is complete wave function psi x t is equal to uh, there is a function psi x is the function of the x only and there is another function f t of the this uh, function f is the function of the t only when we substitute this value in this equation and then get two ordinary equation uh, which is uh, one upon that is i h bar one by f t and del f by del t is equal to e and second uh, equation is in x only that is minus h bar square by 2m 1 up on psi x and del 2 psi by del x square is equal to e so here this uh, first equation is the uh, uh, partial differential equation in the uh, time only and this is only x only and the solution of this uh, first equation will be that is f t is equal to a some normalization constant e power minus i e t by h bar hence the complete solution can be written as that is psi x t is equal to psi of x and a e power minus i e t by h bar and here a is the normalization constant And the second equation in this uh, equation 3 is known as the time independent Schrodinger equation, which is that means this equation is known as the time independent Schrodinger equation. Let's rewrite this equation, which is uh, given in the question that is uh, as a hint that is d2 psi equation 3 second. And when this is second equation this is first equation so this three second can be written as d2 psi by 
dx square is equal to 2m by h bar square and here v uh, potential energy is the function of the position only minus e and psi and here the psi is the function of the x only now if e is which is given in the question if e is less than v minimum then this d2 psi by dx square will be positive and this psi will also be positive that in the coefficient of this wave function psi and the will be positive so in this case uh, this whole factor will be positive so hence the second derivative and this wave function will be positive that means d2 psi by dx square and psi have the same sign that is positive if psi is positive then the d2 psi by dx square will be positive so here uh, case number one if psi is positive or negative then second derivative that is d2 psi d2 psi by x square will be positive or negative it means that if the psi is positive then the second derivative will be positive if the psi is negative then the second derivative will be negative is it means the wave function always come from the axis uh, let's find out the uh, normalization condition for this assume the wave function is normalizable assuming the wave function is normalizable let's check the wave function can be normalized or not we have the normalization condition 1 is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity psi xt and psi xt and dx so here minus infinity to plus infinity this value will be a star as let's write psi of x here complex conjugate a star and e power plus i e t by h bar into psi of x e power i e t by h bar and h here and dx and from here you can see that this portion is cancelled now so here you will get this a is a star a and if a is real then it will be or that is a complex conjugate a will be modus square and minus that is psi of x and dx square that means this wave function uh, uh, is the function of the x only so here we are there are some condition 
then it may increase or decrease with the value of the x uh, from 0 to minus infinity to plus infinity so let's discuss these cases here and if you plot this uh, wave function with the position of x and psi and this is x so if uh, psi is positive then the second derivative will be positive and uh, if the psi is negative then the second derivative will also be negative so here it, you can notice that if uh, wave function is uh, in that is x is increasing that means the wave function is increasing and the shape of the curve that it is a curve wave function so here we can draw this it will be like this and if the psi is negative then it is will be so if the psi is negative then the second derivative will be negative if the psi is positive then second derivative will be positive and if x is increasing then the psi will also increase as x is increase and it is increasing the positive that is x is equal to plus infinite and in this direction it is increasing here x is equal to minus infinite this side so this is minus x and similarly here it is increasing in this direction and in the direction that means such wave function can not be normalized because uh, when you increase the value of the x a wave function is increasing increasing and becomes bigger and bigger bigger so that means it's never cannot turn toward the x-axis so it always increasing on this side so it shows that the wave function is infinite at x is equal to infinite so which is the contradiction of the Schrodinger wave equation that in the um, wave function must be zero at uh, uh, limit x tends to plus minus infinite psi x must be zero but in this case this condition is not satisfied so if this uh, condition is satisfied then the wave function can be normalized But for the given uh, case, the this wave function is increasing as you increase the value of the x to infinite, then psi is increasing, hence the wave function cannot be normalized. So the conclusion is that psi of x cannot be normalized. And this is the general case and that means such wave function which is increasing with the value of the x cannot be normalized for which the second derivative is positive if the psi is positive if the psi is negative then the second derivative of uh, will also be negative so such wave function cannot be normalized 